All right, we have the Hawaii Pacific men's basketball team from left to right, Chauncey Orr, coach Darren Vorderbrogi, and Luke Hager. So, coach, you want to start off with a statement? Um, well, I think, uh, you know, regarding the season, uh, I would just simply say that we have three seniors, uh, and two of them are, are right here with us. And um, I know it stings right now, but it's the most wins in our program history in several years. And, I want to make sure my hat's off to these two guys for leading us over some big wins and getting us here. And, uh, I'm sure that the sun will come up tomorrow and we'll feel a little better about things. And right now it hurts. Uh, regarding the game, uh, you know, I thought it was a, in, in a lot of ways a typical basketball game that the, the team that shot at the best got the momentum. Um, they, uh, they shot over 50% from the three, over 50% from the field. We shot 30% from the field, and you just can't be successful. I thought we missed some easy shots early, and that kind of set the tone for the game. I thought we, we missed some checks early, just didn't make the plays, and, uh, and it wasn't a team that, that, that was going to be able to be caught. I thought we needed to hang around to, to be in that ball game. Can we get comments from uh, each of the players um, with regards to you know your thoughts about um, you know, what an incredible season that you had, and and unfortunately it ends up uh, ending this way. Yeah, no, I mean it was. I know for me personally, it was an up and down season for me. I mean, I was battling some injuries, and I know Chauncey was going through some things too. And uh, it was kind of nice to, you know, like Coach B said, have you know a couple other seniors there that kind of you know picked me up when I was hurt. And I think we had a great year, and we, it was up and down, and we probably dropped some games we shouldn't have, and. You know, we won some big games at home that people, you know, counted us out of. And I think that was kind of the, uh, that made this whole season fun, you know, for me. And I knew it was not going to be my last, you know, go at it here at the college level. And I just wanted to make the most of it. And I, I think I enjoyed it. I would like to win a couple more games here and, you know, keep playing into next week and into the NCAAs. But, you know, hats off to Coach Wagner and, you know, their squad and their good team. So. Chauncey? Um, it's just a lot running through my head right now. Uh, it's all with it in the season, but uh, I mean, I enjoyed it. You know, a year ago today, I couldn't say that I you know, enjoyed playing the game. But to come here and battle with these guys, uh, coaching staff that brought me in, uh, I appreciate it a lot. And, uh, you know, growing up, you would never see the end when the end would come your college career. You always think that you just going to play basketball forever. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a bittersweet ending, but, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I came to HBU. I enjoyed my whole you know, process in this whole year. Um, I just want to thank the coaches and the team uh, for a special season. Johnson, there's one question I'd like to ask him. You mentioned that a year ago you didn't feel like you were enjoying the game anymore. What was going on then, and what changed your approach a year later? Uh, a lot changed. Uh, you know, time to the game changed. Um, you know, just taking a step back and, you know, evaluating um, why I enjoy the game. That's, I've been playing for so long, so it's like, you know, like, why, why now? Like, why is it now that I'm not enjoying the game? So I had to take a step back and, you know, when Coach B called me and, and told me, you know, you know, we had a spot on me for this team and, you know, things worked out the way they did and not, you know, looking back on it, it's just a blessing that I was able to come here and uh, enjoy my career in the last year. Coach, I would imagine, you know, hearing comments like that um, makes, uh, Everything worthwhile. Well, it's why we do this. As you uh, as you get older, you know the wins don't get any less important. Um, the losses don't sting any less, but other things do become more important. And the camaraderie, camaraderie that we had this year, um, the, the togetherness, choose a simpler word, um, it defined who this team was. You know. Uh, our seniors were our leaders, and these two guys were two of our three seniors. Very appreciative of what they gave us on and off the court. 
I would be remiss if I didn't just ask you on the other side, I, I'm guessing in your coaching career you haven't seen too many individual performances like uh, Corey. Um, you know, last year we gave up 20-some in the first half to somebody on the Cal Baptist team that shall remain nameless. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought it was a combination of he hit a couple tough shots, we made some, I thought our guys then got a little, well, I, you make the mistake of, well, I'll try something different. And then he got some easy shots and we lost him a couple times in transition. And that's just a bad combination. Of, uh, you know, we, we didn't even take away the easy shots. And then he got confident and it, 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 it got rolling. So he had a great performance. And, you know, we we play those guys a lot, and I'm, I'm good friends with Coach Wagner, so we'll we'll be pulling for them, um, and hoping they do well. I wish he would have saved that performance for tomorrow night, but I guess that didn't happen. All right, thanks, Coach. You bet.